So today I'm working on stuffing the rabbit sausage and right now I'm at a spot I have stuffed uh, probably about 10 pounds of this bratwurst and I'm at a spot where I need to stop, refill, restart so I thought this would be a good spot to do a video. I have to tell you that this is my first time ever using a sausage stuffer. In the past I've always stuffed with my grinder which um, is slow, it's not ideal and now I've literally, this is the only sausage that I've ever done with it are the links right here and I'm wondering why I didn't have one of these years ago. I'm really kind of kicking myself here. So a couple things to mention. I did put the, the um, container in the freezer before I started. Um, you know, it won't stay cold the whole time, but it, it does help to start with some cold things. And I've got a paper towel here over the casing that is already on the tube because I find that it, it really helps to keep this moist to keep it moving off the tube. So especially in the in-betweens, I'll often have a towel on that. So now I'm gonna, this is empty, the, the bin here. So I'm just pulling this forward a little bit. I'm gonna clip it off, leave myself a little extra room. So when I come back and link these later, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. Just cutting those, tying a knot in the end. I do plan to come back and twist these into about six inch lengths later so we can have them for the grill and whatnot. And they'll fit a, fit a, a bun. Um, and I'm poking the end of this here just to let that little bit of air out. You don't want air in there or they'll burst. These are actually some pretty tough casings, which is good. Uh, I see an air pocket here, so I'm just gonna poke through that there. And that's it for taking it off.